like use the proper microphone <laughs> probably helps in a quality stream and the same thing goes for using the proper audio for the desktop uh, because we've got some le musique we can go up to like minus 35 that's that's not a problem uh, I don't want any notifications popping up and I think that means we are good to go so let's uh, pop out the chat here real quick um, just so that I can read it if anybody were to show up and get to the sculpting okay so last week we um hold on i'm going to actually make this a little less loud not for you guys but just for me also for you guys apparently i i can't be fucked with the audio <laughs> today last time we had uh, uh quite a bit of progress not as much as i would have maybe hoped but uh let's see there we go we made the head and the torso and today we really only need to like make the legs and the arms and then touch up like a few little things so i don't actually know how long this is going to take presumably it's going to take me under two hours to do that but uh i've been wrong about this kind of thing before so let's center on this uh lovely little model over here and then we also need to re apologize it but i'm going to try to do that through uh instant mesh first because i really don't want to do it manually <laughs> it's rather what it comes down to um because it's it's a long and, and boring process and instant mesh usually does a pretty decent job at it uh, and then we need to like bake the normals into it and stuff like that which blender can be a little bothersome with so we uh we've got plenty of shit to do wait what what why did you change color when i went into school you know what i don't care i i just do not care let's start with the arms is what i'm thinking right so we definitely want symmetry uh, symmetry on for this i think not in the z direction only in the hold on do i have the right thing selected I think I did. Scott mode. I definitely didn't. Okay, that's good to know. So if we now go over to just for testing purposes, real quick, uh, snake hook, and we do that. I said we do that. We have symmetrical shit. Okay, so do I make the the thing in the clothes first and then extend the arm out of that or do i make the arm first and then um model the clothes around the arm is the real question of the day um i think i'm gonna start with the arm and then like just kind of push some matter around to create this like shoulder hole uh in the in the actual like dress i think that's probably the best idea uh to go with so let's uh let's get started grabbing some that's mm. the fall off is a little high where can i change the fall off there we go fall off um constants that should more or less it's not still really not what i want so maybe snake hook is actually the thing i want to use here let's go into uh front view real quick so we want to be right about that height ish maybe a little higher up I don't know why the snake hook is being so annoying. Probably because there isn't a lot of geometry. That's bullshit. I've got three and a half million vertices on this bitch. There's a insane amount of geometry to work with here, I'm sure. Yeah, there you go. There's plenty of geometry to work with. Um, more than is altogether reasonable, really. 
Again, that's why we need to retopologize this. But maybe now that I've got a little bit of snake hooking going on, I can use the grabbing brush. I don't know why it's so slow to respond. Oh, I do know why it's slow to respond. Um, but compared to last week, I'm not even using that much like CPU or GPU. So I'm not entirely sure why it's being so sluggish. Okay. That's a start for the arms. Obviously, it's going to need to be a bit thicker in a lot of places, but I think as far as length goes, that's a pretty decent spot to leave things. Let's make the arms first and then add the hands later, is what I'm thinking. So, move this down here. I'm just going to replicate a rough shape of the arms from the, from the last model because I actually quite like how the arms look there. Uh, let's go back to full of smoother because we want it to be very very smooth yeah so when we go to a remash I probably will go for a slightly less dense um, mesh because this is just not very responsive which makes the whole ordeal kind of annoying to deal with right and then you can go down now the question is can i pull the tops off uh, or up rather uh, without affecting the bottom too much i mean that that, that is a matter of brush size and fall off obviously But I would very much like to not mess too much with that at the moment and, and just keep the brush as is. Uh, I can see some glitchiness forming. That's usually not a good sign. Come on. Okay. Uh, let's move. Just to see if that will get rid of this glitchiness. It seems to. And then we can probably inflate the arms a little. Because they are very, very thin. So let's go to the top view here. And just inflate the entire thing a bit. And then probably also inflate them in this direction. Because... There will be more muscle definition in a moment. <laughs> that, <laughs> he still looks like uh, a ghost. Which is kind of the, the theme I'm going for, obviously. A little, like, ghost ethereal dude. But when I say he looks like a ghost, I, I mean he looks like a kid with, a, uh, with, like, a blanket over him. Which is definitely not the feeling I'm going for. So let's see what the topology is, or, or the geometry is like on these arms. Because it feels like it's very, very stretched at the moment. Which doesn't really leave me a lot to work with. As far as improving this goes. So this is why you could use dynamic topology. But I, I heard they're getting rid of it in Blender 3.0. Which I haven't switched to yet for this. Um... If that's the case, I don't want to get used to using it. Uh, if dynamic topology does not disappear in 3.0, I'm very much switching to that because remashing every two fucking seconds, it's just not great. Uh, where is it again? Surely it's under object, right? I'm in object mode, that's probably why it's not there. A uh, few sculpts. Is it an edit? Not a VR. <laughs> View. Remesh. There we go. I don't know why it's like... Oh, it's not on a view. It's just in the top right corner here. Let's go with... Um, with one centimeter again. Well, maybe... Let's double the size. So that, that should cut the amount of vertices by four. Which means we're under a million again. 
That seems like it's reasonable. I don't know what it's going to do to the scarf, though. That, that's the thing that, that, that I'm most worried about. Is how the scarf is going to deal with that. Surprisingly not horrible, really. I mean, obviously we're going to need to smooth that out at some point. But um, th that actually looks pretty decent. I was kind of thinking that the, uh, the scarf would just, like, the little dent would just more or less disappear. That does not seem to be the case. So we can go back to uh, smoothing this out a little. Just for my visual um, OCD, really. And then let's get into... Mm, grabby, grabby, grabby again. And definitely make the... Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. There we go. Make the brush size. That's... Uh, I, I need to set up my... <laughs> my controls a bit better again. Um, just, just pull this down a little more. The answer to the question I had, how do I not pull the top but do pull the bottom? Uh, turns out, just zoom in. It's just as easy as that. Also, have an apology there to, like, add detail. That probably is helping quite a bit. Okay. Um, I think this is roughly where we want to start looking into, like, muscle definition a little more. So what we are going to do with that is we're going to... I'm thinking let's flatten things out first a little. And then once they're flat, we'll inflate them back up. I, I think that'll make the most sense. So let's just make them into more or less just like a cube. Okay, that definitely needs to be inflated more before I can flatten it out. There we go. Uh, that's flatten, right? Flatten, yeah. Flatten things out here. Okay, deflated a little bit, maybe. <laughs> that might be a bit too much. Um, smooth that away. Flatten. 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 It's uh, not mega flat. I'll give you that. But it's certainly not round. Well, it's actually pretty round. Um, okay, so we want to have a little bit more inflation around the shoulder area. Then we want to deflate a bit more in the middle, I want to say. And definitely inflate this up a little too. Probably grab this and move this up a little. Okay, now he's starting to look a little too bulky. <laughs> That's not what we want. We want the arms to be a bit skinnier overall so let's zoom out a bit just deflate the entire thing slightly then also make sure that from the top perspective the arms don't go too far back because that's something that they have been doing And then, it's not what we want to do. I want to round the edges a little more, which we want to do with smoothing. Mm. 
now the shoulder I have here is way too much forward. So let's try to pull that back a little. And this might not be the best brush to do this with. <laughs> Maybe having the references of the hand will help here. Maybe I don't need the shoulder. I, I don't think I need the shoulders like modeled this heavily. Let, let's deflate this a little. And then let's grab everything and, and move it down a bit move this up a little how does that compare to my original model that's pretty much it smooth things over again The scrape do again. Okay, scrape might actually be what I need a little. Nope, a little more off. And then fill. Okay, so if we do a bit of that. Let's make the shoulder, like the shoulder pads first at this point, because I think that's going to give me quite a bit of reference as to where the shoulder should be. So I think we should do that first. Uh, Clay thumb is what I was looking for, I think. Is it? Might not be. Nope, it's the normal thumb I'm looking for. Just like make a little ridge, and then we can inflate that. To start up with our shoulder. I keep calling, uh, calling it the shoulder pad, it's not really a pad. It's just like the armhole from your shirt. Um, crease. Crease. Raise it up. We more or less need an entire crease around the, the whole arm here. So we can. It's kind of fucked. Doesn't really. Isn't really doing what I wanted to do. Well. Actually, like, yeah, it looks pretty bad right now, but ju just give me a moment here. It's mostly because the arm looks really bad. <laughs> uh, let's remesh real quick because I've, I've, I've made a lot of new volume. Which will go a long way into giving me... The main issue here is this crease at the moment, I think. So if we can crease it up a little more with that, then smooth this all out. Hmm. 
then I think at that point it's not too difficult to just zoom out a bit, grab this, pull it over a little more. Sleeves! That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> and pull out the sleeves a bit. Then um, separate this by creasing the shit out of it again. That's my current technique anyway that I'm using. I don't know if that's particularly a good way to do it. I very much doubt it. Um, elastic deform a bit. Probably better to use grab on this one. Is my fall off still? It's smooth on this, so. Hmm. Let's let's smooth let's smooth this out first, and then we can look back into creasing. Ideally, what I want to have happen here is just make the arm connection bit as thin as possible. And then inflate it back up later when we get to that bit. But for the time being, I think I want to deflate this a bit. But if at all possible... Um without affecting the actual sleeve does seem possible so let's go back to thumb Make this a little rounder. Create a bit more creasing here, maybe. And then we can connect these things up. And it's starting to look more and more like a hole. Again, these things being connected still is slightly annoying. But we can probably get rid of that if we just like push this in far enough then we can smooth this out maybe it's mostly this being connected to here that's bothering me at the moment I don't want to rely too much on just remashing everything that is not cooperating because I don't think that that is a good way to go about doing things necessarily let's just pull this in and uh, that's not gonna do much I never said I was very good at this, right? <laughs> Quite the contrary. <laughs> Maybe a rematch is required here because it feels like... What, how is the geometry in this area? Yeah, it should be enough for me to like at least manipulate it a little more than this, right? Maybe not. God, that looks bad. Wait, I'm using... No, that is smoothing. Just fucking do it.
remeshing the scarf over and over again doesn't really do much. I mean, it makes sense, right? If you don't change the geometry, it should just generate the exact same geometry in theory. Uh, that's the also the wrong thing. Yeah, now that there's more geometry to work with here again, I, I can crease this a little easier. And with this being creased, we can then smooth it. Yeah, no. <laughs> we don't smooth it. We flatten it. Is that what we do? I think that's what we do. Okay, let's go back to the sleeve. That's what we were working on after all. Because I want the sleeve to be a little bit more pronounced in this version, which means that it also has like a little bit more overhang going for it. Which is why everything needs to be disconnected like that. Okay, that's a bit much. I do want to make it fairly hollow. Let's just go into... You know what we're doing? You know what we're doing? Let's add this one to 0.6 actually. I think having a tiny bit more detail couldn't hurt. That's gonna push us back over to a million vertices. But that's uh that's alright. And now we can smooth this out a bit. And uh, with that all being smoothed out. That should allow us a little easier inflating of this. And then we can grab it, pull it down a bit more. If nothing else, this is going to make for a cool render. But it should also be a, a usable game character still. Ideally. Otherwise I'll have to spend like four hours on... Probably more than four hours by the end of this. Because it also needs to again be re-apologized and, and stuff like that. Okay, now it looks a little bit more like a shirt. We probably want to pull this down a little more because it feels a little too stiff otherwise. Pull this in slightly. Also pull this in slightly. So it feels like there's some depth to the entire thing. And this is why I wanted to have things separated because now I can manipulate the sleeve and the arm relatively independent from each other without too much trouble. So let's smooth this out a little. Okay, that, that's not gonna do too much because it needs to be flattened a bit more first. Uh, I think that kind of works. Let's let's focus on the arms now to see how they do. So we're going to definitely like do a lot of inflating of the arms here first. Okay, now it kind of just looks like his arms literally are cancer. Um and have like very weird bone structures. Um, that's elastic deform, right? Yeah. 
maybe not what I want to use after all. Just pull this down a bit. out slightly no zoom in flatten things out slightly smooth the entire thing over kind of works then we have little thinner parts and then we have the forearms it should have a little bit more girth to them again he doesn't need to be a very muscly dude um he does need to be a little bit more symmetrical though <laughs> Hold on. Again, let's go to top view. Because this motherfucker has amazing triceps, but that's not really what we're going for. At least not to this extent. I'm still looking a little droopy. Hmm. That's looking like something. This kind of looks like a collarbone structure, which I actually kind of like the implication of the fact that his clothes are his body in that way. So we're going to keep that. We're going to try to keep that. I might just destroy that accidentally later on. Let's put pressure on for radius as well. I think that might help us out here a bit. Because this also still does need to be a bit thicker around the, the thin part. Hmm. That just mostly look makes him look deformed. This is going to be unlit anyway, by the way. So any like very minute details that are going to like catch the light. No, they're not. Um, a little something like suggesting an elbow might not be a bad idea as well. Now I think about it. So let's use pose. Nope. Uh, radius. Just a little bit. Okay, the pose brush is actually the fucking worst. Never mind. Just pull this back a tiny bit just so that we have some amount of. Uh, I need to smooth that out. Um, some amount of like elbow to work with and it doesn't need to just only come for deformation it's just actually muddled in i don't know what the fuck is going on um. 
I'm thinking soon we are going to need to get started on the hands just to like have that reference. Because this, I mean, I'm not gonna say it looks good. It certainly does not look great. <laughs> but I think it's good enough for the time being. So what we're gonna do is we're going to inflate the shit out of, with a smaller brush size, inflate the shit out of the end of the arm. Create a hand this way. There we go. Very low poly, obviously. But that is very much not an issue because of what we're going to do here in a moment. Make it go down a bit. The age old trick of just press rematch and you generate new geometry. Again, dynamic topology also does that, but it uh, kind of fucks with your um, your edge flow and stuff like that. Wait, it hasn't generated it yet, has it? It totally has, never mind. Okay. Um, so first things first is obviously smoothing this out a bit more so that it's <laughs> not as poly. Um, what is the equivalent for like 3D for pixelated? Polylated? Is that a thing? I'm gonna say that's a thing. Um, there we go. Why are my controls suddenly different? Um, this is really weird. Welcome. home. The fuck. And the back to normal. Okay. Sure. As long as you do what I want you to do, I'm not going to complain too much. Going to complain a bit, though. Okay, we flattened the shit out of this. That's not very flat. We flatten the shit out of this. On both sides. And then I guess we can deflate this a fair bit as well. I said deflate. It's not really deflating, is it? Look, if you're not going to deflate, I will just manually grab pull everything down. It's not ideal. But it'll work. More or less. Actually, might work better. No, I think about it. Because we can immediately like make the wrists. Kinda. Pull out the gloves a bit more. We're gonna inflate this in a moment, don't worry. Still not going to give him fingers, because that's where my skill in making hands falls the fuck apart, is making fingers. That's actually like, that's 
the most difficult part of making a good hand is, is giving it like proper fingers. So just giving it mittens is my answer to that, really. Which I'm not entirely sure if this is the case, but I feel like that might have also informed the decision in the character design of Mickey Mouse, because not having to animate, like, no, he has individual fingers. Never mind, never mind. Still relatively low detail because they're inside those gloves, but he still does have fingers. Is this like actual, like, how big the faces are? It is. Um, let, let's make a more general, proper shape out of it before we start to remash anything again. Uh, and with that, I probably just mean, well, I know what I mean, so I don't know what I say probably. Uh, just, just give him thumbs. That's really what it comes down to. And we're in deep jungle. Probably one of my favorite worlds. No, it's not. It, it's a very, like, fun and cool idea for a world. The actual world in Kingdom Hearts itself fucking sucks ass. <laughs> because it's, it's, it's almost like a platforming world, but it's in an action RPG. <laughs> Where the jumping mechanics are absolute ass. No kidding. Actually, like, very, very, very horrible. The, uh... The movement mechanics in, in later Kingdom Hearts games are a lot better. And a world like the jungle would just, like, be trivial, because you could just jump over literally everything and skip everything. So Kingdom Hearts 1 is really the only game in which that world would have worked. But I would have preferred if they just, like, made that world without jumping around. Then again, like, the, the whole thing is, of course, that you have those vines. And the, the little, like, grinding section down is really fun. But that's roughly, like, everything there is to that entire world. So, that that is fun. Anyway, there is a lot to it. Just most of it kind of sucks. Smooth that edge all the way away, make it a lot more round. See, now that he has hands, eventually, maybe. I don't know, what, what am I orbiting? <laughs> I don't know what I'm orbiting. <laughs> I feel like my mouse is interfering with my tablet a bit. Because my mouse, my, my mouse wheel specifically for like the, uh, well, the zoom uh, is it's kind of broken. I need a new mouse, but I, uh, I already bought like this fucking thing. <laughs> and, um,. This fucking thing. And, uh... Like, the PC that I'm streaming from uh, is mostly new. And that, that's all bought in, like, the last three months. So, I am uh, kind of broke. Admittedly, I probably shouldn't have bought that VR set. But it's also for, like, health reasons, to a certain extent. It's still, it's mostly because I, I want to have fun. And uh, it, it's fun for content. But also... It, uh, it makes me play games that are a little bit more physically active, you know? Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting into a shape that I might not hate. Notice how I don't say I like it. I don't even say that I don't hate it. I say I might not hate it. I reserve every little bit of judgment into maybe hating it in the future. That thing is very much awesome. Uh, it's also the reason I am broke. <laughs> So 
So... It's a bit of a double-sided sword there. Which is... It's a, it's a weird saying, right? Because aren't, like, most swords double-sided? Like you, ha you have things like uh, scimitars and stuff like that, which are not. But by and large, I think most swords are... Double-sided. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you sell your soul to Facebook and you're still fucking broke. Mostly because uh, any alternative for VR to the Oculus Quest is so ridiculously expensive that you have to so sell your soul to the devil instead of Mark. Oh, that's the same, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, I think it's about time we start pressing this button again. Holy shit, I've been sp I spent 45 minutes on making these arms. I thought we were like 20 minutes in, dude. More, closer to 50, really. Okay, um, where are we at? I probably want to pinch this crease a little. If nothing else, I'm at least starting to be more and more happy with the fact that I uh, decided to remodel and to a certain extent redesign um, the character. Because he actually looks pretty good, I want to say. Now, I don't know if I still feel this way about it like next week, or even tomorrow. <laughs> because I still like this more simplistic, almost more geometric design as well. But I think for like the main character of a game, th this... This will work a bit better. So let's pull the wrist bits of the glove a little bit more over the arm. I'm mostly terrified for when I get to like actually finish this and have to start animating it now. Hmm. Okay. Actually, goes a lot smoother making the edge to the gloves than I thought it would. Uh, don't smooth things out that much. That that's not good. Matter of fact, I think I want to pinch things a little more. Just want to make a pretty clear distinction to what is wrist and what is glove. Not too clear because that means that my terrible drawing skills start showing. I don't know if this is helping. I really don't think it is. <laughs> Maybe if I start pinching that now. You know what? Maybe I should use the... Uh, the band button on this. Um, maybe I should use the crease brush when I'm trying to make a crease. Just, just a novel ID, right? That's also way too big in its radius. Hold on. But I, I do like playing Beat Saber a lot. Like... A ridiculous amount, frankly. 
it's very satisfying once you get into it a little bit. Like, at some point, you just stop seeing the individual blocks, right? You go from thinking, oh, I need to slice up, slice up, to looking a couple of blocks ahead. Like, okay, I need to slice up in three blocks, but I already have, like, the next two actions I need to do cached. So I, I don't need to think about those. Those will just happen. Sometimes on this. Relatively regularly, they will miss. Um, but then you get to the point where you, you don't even, like, really register anymore what you're doing. You're just fucking doing it. Which, again, also has its limits. Because your brain still needs to process the information. It's just, like, not taking a moment to think about that information, if that makes any sense. That's just a very interesting thing to uh, to experience, really. It's so what we know as a flow state, and I obviously, like, when I do this, or when I work, uh, as far as, like, editing goes, if I don't have to, like, reference back to a script every two seconds, but I can just, like, fucking go, I have that sort of stuff happen. But in a more physical way, I, I usually don't really. To a certain extent, um, if I'm filming something, I don't think move the camera left and or, or like to move the camera left, you you like move your arms this way. I, it, that just happens. It's like um, what I imagine a lot of people experience, like driving, right, where. You, you, you kind of feel like the car as a mechanical extension of yourself. More so than a vehicle you're piloting. But in VR. So, better. Because it's the metaverse. So that may be a bit too much. Hold on, let's zoom out a bit. That actually is, well, not perfect, but pretty decent. That makes a lot of, yeah. Okay, so it might indeed not make, like, too much sense to to people who haven't been playing, uh, like, two hours of Beat Saber a day <laughs> for, like, the past couple of weeks. But, uh, but I think it's a pretty relatable feeling to, uh, what, once you're, like, learn to do something once you get a certain amount of mastery over something the and i'm not saying that i'm like super masterful at beat table because i'm not i i've got like two and a half weeks of experience i i've got like under 30 hours in the game so by no means am i like mega great at it But there is, a, in, in any skill you develop, there is just, at a certain moment, something clicks in your mind, and it and, and it just goes, right? And that's kind of what I'm trying to describe. Or maybe it's just the metaverse. Whatever the fuck that is. Uh, okay, so probably give the actual hand and fingers a little bit more inflation. Because that's the fucking thing we need right now in the world, more inflation. Let's talk about politics. <laughs> Economics, really, but... It's hard to see those separately. That does seem a bit better. Maybe a bit too inflated, but we can always like deflate or flatten things a little. Start by smoothing things out. Then, especially the underside here, we, we start flattening the palm of the hand. 
And I'm probably like deflating it a little, right? Because you you, you want to have the well, the palm of the hand, which should go inwards a bit. Maybe you can even do that with the grab brush. If we're zoomed out a bit more. Talking about which, I think in general we probably want to have um, elastic deform, maybe. Pose. Yeah, have it a bit more like that. Uh, where am I? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Did I? Oh, I just zoomed out into like fucking infinity. Okay, so I feel like we're getting pretty close to finishing up the hands. Then we like go back over the arms a bit because the most pressing reason I started the hands is to have reference for the arms because that still kind of looks like dog shit. Hmm, it looks a little like crab claws. So probably pull this out a bit more. I'm also an idiot for like modeling without any reference images. Like I've got these reference models that I made before, but still. It's not really doing too much for me, maybe... Nah. This song is not representative of my mood <laughs> at the moment at all. I feel more annoyed anything. Let's see. I think we actually need to like make that a little. Yeah, that doesn't really help, does it? Mm. You know what? The actual like shape of the hands themselves as I think the issue is that the thumb needs to be on more of an angle. So let's give that a try. Hold on. Because if we can get the thumb a little bit more on an angle. And then obviously not have it look like <laughs> a shriveled up piece of shit a little more rounded that's, that's too much of an angle obviously imposing and animating the, the thing we, we can change that but for the t-pose you probably want to have it like as close as possible to like a, a, a proper I don't know what I was going to say there a bit maybe hmm. let's compare real quick to what I did here seems like it's 
pretty close. It's just that this line needs to be a bit more gradual and, and natural. So, mostly a matter of doing... Zoom out a bit. Mostly a matter of doing something a bit more like this, and then... We inflate that. I'll be so happy once the playlist is out of 100 Echo Wood, you have no idea. Thumb is mostly too long at this point, isn't it? Let's elastic deformer a little bit on an angle again, and then scrunch it back in a tiny bit. This fucking thumb is killing me, dude. What the hell is this song? I'm not boring enough to put people to sleep, am I? I mean, if I am, that's great for watch time. So please do fall asleep if you are so inclined. I just hope that after the stream ends, autoplay will put you into one of my devlogs. Or better yet, the playlist. You know what? I'm going to go for... This is also a little too steep. I was going to say, I'm going to go for this is good enough, and then I immediately saw another issue. I mean, if, if I do this, right, this thumb, it's not quite like just a natural relaxed pose. It's like what 70 or so degrees that that's this one is a lot more inward it's also probably because it splits off too close to the wrists which is a bit more difficult to fix i say as i fix it relatively easily i think Hmm. I'll just go back to the arms for a moment here, just because I am getting very frustrated <laughs> with with the uh, with the gloves and the arms. Honestly, actually, aren't that bad now that I like go back looking at them. Obviously, this this could have a little bit more like oomph to it. Okay, that's already too much. Add a little bit more to this. A little bit more to that. And a tiny bit more in the middle as well. I honestly think that the arms are not too bad. I, I felt like they were a lot worse before. Those look like pretty decent eye, uh, arms, not eyes, to me. Uh, we're an hour in. I'm not going to finish the legs today, <laughs> which is ridiculous, because we did the entire fucking body and head last time with a lot of mistakes. Um, and we're going to like stick with only the arms, most likely, for today. It's not great. It's not great at all. Let's zoom out a little and just like inflate this entire region a little more. And we can smooth it all out. I 
I think this is roughly what we're going for. And when that gets smoothed out as well. We can... push things in ever so slightly. I, I still like the hand I made before better, but I think this is pretty much what we're gonna have to stick with for right now. Maybe I will revisit this hand after we finish the legs, but I kind of want to like make a start on the legs at least so that we have something. And maybe I can just make the majority of the legs. And just do a little bit of touching up for the model off screen. And then I also, again, need to like make it actually like usable in game. Um, which it's very, very much not right now. Let's actually try to inflate this a little don't get entirely rid of the collarbone structure there because again i do like that quite a bit it does look a bit better okay next up the fucking legs Um, I guess we start with a snake hook and okay so this is a very important moment is how far apart are the legs they're roughly this far apart Yeah, that's that's a bad start. <laughs> okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, again, bad, bad start. They're also too far back. Let's just control Z into oblivion. Um, redo that step. Kind of difficult to make them go straight down, <laughs> but it'll end up working, I'm sure. It's not really what I had in mind. That's really not what I. Okay, that's just glitching the fuck out. Once we got the lags in. Something that resembles a decent place. I don't want to go into a rendered view. It should be less of an issue. First, I've got to get them there, though. That's something I need to learn. Is how to, like, extend things a little bit more efficiently. Because this is definitely not it. Okay, those are the thinnest legs in the universe, but that is easy to fix. You just inflate them until they are not the thinnest legs in the universe. And you deflate them a little here. And then we rematch because there's fucking no geometry left to work with down there on the legs. 
Probably should also save. <laughs> I don't want to wait like an hour and a half of work um, if Blender decides to crash. So uh, let's uh, let, let's pull on a quick save as well. Are you going to be difficult? Ooh, I, I don't know why you sometimes decide to suddenly have different controls. Is opening the Wacom software change that? For some reason it does! Don't know why, don't know how. Okay, now that everything is uh, a little bit less glitchy looking. I know that the actual geometry is not all that glitchy after using a remesh, in theory. But I prefer having it look a little smoother so that I know when it's actually glitching. And I need to worry about what I'm doing. Okay, so lag should actually be a decent amount easier. I think. I don't know if that's true. But I'm going to pretend like it is. Just to make myself feel better mostly. Give this boy some toys. Thick. Thick ass toys. Oh, we have some, uh, we have some tearing back here again. Uh, I don't know why it keeps doing that. It's got, obviously it's got something to do with remashing so much. But if I just knew what exactly caused it, I could prevent it. But maybe I can just like smooth it away like this. I definitely cannot. Maybe with flatten. Nope scrape with a much smaller brush size oh that's fill scrape is definitely not going to do it either right now just go into edit mode A lot of double vertices around here, it seems. Why? I have an idea as to why that might be. Let me see. Face your orientation. Yeah, I think the inside is clipping through. No, no, it really isn't. In that case... Merge by distance. I don't know why caps lock is on. Uh, where is my holes? Okay. Maybe another one. Seems about right. And if I just manually fill these up. Nope. Also, no. If I just solid, if I just manually fill these up, I say edges. Yeah, issue is the holes on both sides, isn't it? Hmm. We'll worry about that later. <laughs> it looks a little like a face. <laughs> okay, 
Actually, maybe I can use smoothing here to make it worse. Definitely make it worse. Um, maybe if I grab things a little inward. I have a better idea. This entire section. Let's delete those vertices. And... Okay, that might have not been the best idea ever. You know what? Again, we'll figure this out later when we get to it. I don't know what's causing it. I don't know how to fix it. I also don't know if it's going to be annoying to fix. Worst case scenario, this forces me to manually re-topologize the entire thing because I, I can just like go over it. And that might seem like, oh, that's not that big a deal. No, that is actually worst case scenario. Um, very, very much. Phase orientation. Okay. Let's go back to legs. I don't know why he has knees all the way up there. That definitely doesn't make a lot of sense. We want to have a set of knees a little around this area. Um, can inflate that just as a reference point for the knees. <laughs> Not because that's what it's going to look like. Oh, I was making thighs. That's what I was doing. Uh, so yeah, let's let's inflate this, and then we can smooth it into the actual model a little bit more. See now the legs are coming out of. They are very, very far into the front, actually. That's that's not great. Can we just pull them back like this? We, we can. Actually, remarkably not horrible. Barely an inconvenience. Uh, inflate the entire top legs a little more. Let's just flatten this a little to maybe create some knees. Yeah, now we're definitely going to need to deflate that. And inflate everything down here. But from about here on out, we are going to make the shoes. Which are also going to be relatively easy to model, I think. I don't know if this is a uh, copyright danger or not. I'm going to just assume that it's Kingdom Hearts original music. I think it is. Which still is copyright, don't get me wrong, but not enforced. Whereas, if this was a Disney song, I would be in jail right now. Really stretching the geometry thin here. <laughs> Ridiculously so. Um... For some reason, it won't let me zoom at all anymore. That works. Okay, we got our zoom capability back. 
Um, probably gonna make this hole worse again, but let's give it a fucking shot. Uh, going back into sculpting mode. Let's go back to point four. Is that necessary in any way, shape, or form? No. No, it's not. Is it going to make things a lot more sluggish again? Uh, yeah, because we are going from 1.8 million vertices all the way back up to like 4.5 million probably now. Which is just too much. <laughs> At least I know that whatever it is I'm doing, um, my PC is just not having a problem with it. Like, my GPU is being used, like, 30%. CPU is mostly, like, at idle. <laughs> it's at 6%, sometimes spiking up to... It's had a spike up to 100, but it's only, like, once or twice through the entire stream. So, yeah, uh, that, that definitely did make it worse. It is a very neat pattern, though. <laughs> like, it, I, I could... Matter of fact actually kind of inspiring anyway let's uh smooth the shoes out a bit of course we want to flatten the bottom of the shoes flatten 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 not nearly flat enough. flattening right yeah maybe we want to scrape actually I think that might work better that definitely works better for flattening the bottom of the shoe okay so scrape is what we need to keep in mind for that sort of thing and then we do that and then we definitely want to have the shoes not be the fuck happened there <laughs> scrape, 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 scrape. And then flatten, flatten, flatten. Smooth out the edges a bit. Definitely smooth things around here a bit as well. Smooth, smooth, smooth. A lot more smooth. Then we can... Increase the crease a bit. And then we start with the grab brush again to... Get the general shape a bit more in order. Actually... Probably don't want to have the like bubble on top that big. They are very lopsided shoes at the moment. We do need to fix that. don't think that helped particularly much. They're also very close together at a lot of points, which probably 
we want to avoid. Cyber model again, which usually would be a very fun sentence, but not in this case. It is starting to shape up to be something that I'm pretty happy with, though. Again, very doubtful that we're going to finish this thing today because it needs to be like a lot of work on the lags and then obviously just after you have finished something, it goes with anything creative really, you haven't finished it. You have made a situation in which you have to come back to it in like a day or two. And if you're still happy with it at that point, you have finished it. And if you think... That's a bad bit of advice to be creative. You've probably never made something that's actually like high quality. Not saying that this one necessarily be high quality, but uh, that certainly is a step that you need to take <laughs> to ensure that something you make is actually like good. Because after working on something for two hours, you're not, or, or, or even more, you're not going to be objective, like, ever. That's just, you're not. And if you think you are, you are definitely not. Let's pull the feet down. Maybe we can actually do this with... actually the fucking worst brush <laughs> it's really bad i like the idea of having that pose brush but it's just it's it just does not work still looks like a melted candle Compared to, for fuck's sake! So yeah, we we need to have them go a little bit back, but that's the, the general shape seems to match pretty well, and is actually pretty good, I'd say. Again, for the reference, as I have it right now. This needs to go a little in on all sides. That's going to create the thing, but that needs to be a bit higher, actually. Uh, not that much. Hold on. A bit. Just like that. The knees are absolutely fucked in so many ways. This needs to be pulled out a bit more. Pulled down. Needs to be a lot smoother in every regard. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Pull 
pull a lot more of this stuff up now. See, once you are close to a shape, actually getting into that shape is a lot easier. Which sounds like a no shit kind of comments, and that's because it is. But it's also the kind of thing that you're like... Getting to an approximate version of what you want before trying to make the exact version of what you want is just a good idea. <laughs> and it's something that I often end up forgetting to do until I do it by accident. <laughs> Same here, right? We, we over-exaggerate the, the, the edge of the shoe so that we can then, when we smooth things down a little, I said when we smooth things down. I said when we smooth things down a little. Um, it's closer to what we want it to be like. Still not exactly where we want it to be. Uh, but for that we can just like put in a bit more creasing. That's maybe a bit too much. Especially here we can definitely do with a bit more creasing. And then we smooth things out a little more. And then we probably also just want to deflate a bit because it's still very, very much blown up. Now let's try to make a crease around the actual inside of the shoe, which is going to be probably, that's not what I want to do. It's probably going to be slightly more annoying to deal with. Or it might not be. Or it might not be. It's going to have to be a, a harder crease though. It's actually good that we leave a little bit of this because we want to pull it up. Um... Zoomed out a bit more. We, we, we want to pull this up, right? Still a bit much, but mm, not as much as you'd think. And then we want to increase the radius a bit here. And we want to start pulling things in. Okay, that's definitely not what I meant to do. Pull things in a little. So what we'll do is I will finish, try to finish, the edge here from the shoe to the leg, and then off screen in my own time, I will finish the actual shoe and the actual leg. And then next week we will uh, hopefully have a normal devlog again, depending on how much actual work I get done. I made part of a level uh, today, but that wasn't enough to like make a whole devlog on. So let's pinch the shit out of this crease. Okay. It's nice and pinched. Then we can smooth this decently. The shoes are going to look a little bit more soft leather than the hard leather we had there as well. In material as in... Um, 
as in shape. That's partly because of just how things are looking right now. Um, but also partly because I think it will look better. The moment it's kind of an in between though, so it could still go either direction, really. Wait, are we already in Neverland with the. the this is in chronological order, <laughs> this, this soundtrack. So we, we've made it most of the way through, I think. Which makes sense because we've been live for an hour and 30 some minutes, so. Let's do a little work on the legs. Because we we want to have the knees right about here, I would say. Again, we just deflate the shit out of this, right? We could just flatten it. That probably would be better. And then smooth it. Yeah, I think that's what... Oh, yeah, that's actually what we want to do, I think. Just flatten and then smooth. Okay, that's that's a bit much. Um, so we infl... So we inflate. This part we probably want to grab out a bit as well. Yeah, 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 that, that, that looks kind of like what I'm looking for. We flatten, we flatten, we flatten. And we smooth the edges. Smooth is a bit as well. Not that strongly. Again, we want to pull this up a little. Pull this in, maybe. I, I think this kind of glitchiness is, the, is what causes uh, holes like that, by the way. I think. I'm not entirely sure. So it turns out making the legs a lot easier of a process than making the uh, the arms. Uh, smooth. And then I think this will more or less do what I needed to do. Which is make things a little sharper on the edges here. As well as here. Definitely gonna need to come back there to fix that. Should be as easy as just. Sm I love the fucking smooth brush. My favorite thing in the universe, dude. Uh, let's actually try to see what happens when we try to remesh this. Because it might not create a hole at all. And that would be ideal if it didn't. 
And I probably will. It doesn't look like it did. Again. It almost looks like <laughs> like my Blender project is haunted because of this fucking weird ass witch doctor um ghost mask thing. Which I suppose fair enough because part of the original inspiration for wanting to make the game, which is not even like gonna be implemented too much anymore, is Crash Bandicoot. So, um, let's actually pull this in a bit. I think the legs largely look pretty good at this point. This could be a little lower down, and then this could do with a little touch up, maybe. Feet still look a little lumpy, but that's probably just flat. No, 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 no. We just flatten things a little like this. Talk about flattening, also flatten the bottoms. Then go back, grab things back down a little. That seems about right. Shoes are kind of based on Link at this point, I think. The entire character design is actually kind of a mix between Link from Ocarina of Time and Vivi from Final Fantasy IX, <laughs> now that I think about it. Mostly not on purpose. Like, the Vivi part definitely is on purpose. The fact that he resembles Link so much... I don't know where the scarf came from. But it's pretty much like Vivi in Link's clothes with a scarf. And a different hat, actually. Okay, so there's a lot of different design elements going on there. But definitely both Vivi and Link have major roles to play here. Okay, so now... <laughs> how do I fix this? Because if I can fix this within today's stream as well, that would be kind of great. Um, I just need to think about how to like fix a hole like that. The easiest thing I can think of still would be going into edit mode. I'm doing it from the other direction for a reason by the way i should have hit save before going into edit mode okay edit mode y you see how fucked up this entire like bit is we can just like if we go into this Maybe I can just merge the entire thing. That would also maybe work. Um, merge at center. Let's see. It's probably a bad idea. Uh, because now we have face orientation. Uh, 
on the outside. No, actually, it is. Like, it looks pretty bad right now. But I'm assuming if I remash this. It'll fix itself. I say assuming, because I don't know if it will. But we're going to figure that out right the fuck now. In theory, it should. I hope. I don't think I really did too much. Still created a new hall. This might just be a decent reason for me to, uh, to go in and manually read apologize this entire thing. Which I really didn't look forward to doing. But it's probably best practice to do so anyway. Still, let me let me try a couple of things here. First and foremost, Google is a thing. Uh, Google Blender Remesh Creating Create Holes. Fill gaps. There, there is a fill there is a fill gaps command which it specifically says here does not help but we're going to try anyway uh fill fill holes Ain't doing it. That ain't doing it at all. It kind of did something. Maybe I need to do them one at a time. Hold on. Nope. Honestly, it seems like it's probably just best to manually go over and and relink all the uh, the shit manually here because it's other than the the holes we have here the the flow is pretty good so it's not going to be too difficult to to do it's only going to be a, a bit tedious to do that so i'll probably end up doing that like tomorrow or the day after manually for the time being though uh that means that we should be more or less finished with this model again i might do a little touch up here and there maybe like make the crease for the scarf a little bit sharper uh go over smooth things out a little bit more again but uh this more or less probably gonna be the final version and i i i like it a lot better 
so far. Again, I'm going to have to wait a day or two. Uh, but so far, I like this one a lot better than my original. Like, again, th this has a certain charm to it. I like this a lot better. Hopefully next week we'll uh, be back with a uh, full normal devlog. Uh, until then, I'm going to uh, get the fuck out of here. Where is my live stream thing? There we go. See ya. Uh, see ya. <laughs>